Yo what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. Today we'll be taking a look at the updated or the newer version of Emu3DS, which is an open source 3DS emulator for iOS devices. I'll be showing you its setup, best settings, gameplay and much more. Let's get started. The current latest build which I am using was released on 15 June. Right here is the changelog of Emu3DS. Uh, on its official GitHub page, you can see version 1.0.6.5 added load and save state option, uh, thumbstick toggle option in game and ability to convert and copy or uh, add CI files. First of all, if you also want to try out Emu3DS on your iOS devices, then you will have to side load it. For side loading, you can use tools such as Scarlet or 3U tools which is available for PC or Mac. Side loading it is pretty easy so I hope you guys can do that on your own. After you have successfully added Emu3DS on your iPhone or iPad, uh, let me show you guys the Emu3DS folders. Once you open Files app, in the On My iPhone section, you will find a new folder known as Emu3DS. Inside this, you will get lot of folders such as logs, cheats, NAND. Here is the folder where you'll have to add your games. Emu3DS supports both CI and .3DS file formats. For today's video, I have already loaded my copy of the games Pokemon Sun and Pokemon X. I'll be showing you guys the gameplay of both these games, but down here you will see three options. Now the emulation as soon as you tap on it, emulator will crash. It's because once you open the game, then you'll directly go to this emulation section. But if you just head on over to settings, you will see there are tons of new settings added. You can also increase CPU clock. Now uh, for the best settings part, I recommend you guys to enable use new 3ds mode. Make sure to enable JIT. But if your game crashes, like let me show you. Right here you saw after enabling JIT my game crashed. Then make sure to disable it. Uh, you can also enable logging uh, if you want to provide the developer of Emu3DS with log files uh, to see what went wrong or why the emulator crashed. Make sure to enable asynchronous shader compilation. Enable hardware shaders. You can disable vsync. Shaders accurate multiplication. Make sure to disable it if your game is lagging. But if you want accurate textures then you can enable it. Now uh, shaders JIT make sure to enable this as well. In resolution, now we can finally upscale or downscale the resolutions of the game. By default it is 800p, 1200p for better resolution but your game will lag quite a lot depending on the resolution which we have set. I haven't tested any games on this resolution so we'll be testing it out. Portrait layout, you can choose single screen, last screen and finally uh, with the help of all these settings, Emu3DS is now an proper 3 d simulator for iPhone with lot of customizability, lot of settings, lot of improvements in performance as well. Now uh, if we just go ahead and take a look at landscape layout, if you want a large screen like we use on Citra emulator Android, then just select the large screen. I do use large screen quite a lot. If you want side by side screens, then you can select the side screen option. Uh, but we'll keep it at default for today's video. Now there are much more settings in the renderer. You can swap screen, I don't recommend this. Upright screen, I also don't recommend this. Stereo renderer you should keep it at off, 3D factor keep it at 100%, you can also add custom textures, preload textures, asynchronous custom loading. Now these are all experimental settings which means that if you mess with this, your emulator can crash. Now let's go to library and try out Pokemon Sun and see the gameplay results for ourselves. To start the game just tap on it, afterwards you will see an portrait layout like this where you will see the emulation bar so hopefully the developer fixes that in future. But if we just go to landscape then you will see two controls. Now our game is taking lot of time to start. I guess it's because of the uh, higher resolution which we have set. So we'll just go to settings. By the way you can just tap here even if the settings button is not visible. Uh, and then we'll scroll down and decrease our resolution. So 800p yeah that's what we should go with now. And there we go the game has successfully started immediately Pokemon Sun running on an iPhone. Let's just go ahead and choose the English language. Okay, begin game. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, this has been glitched. So we can't really do anything about it other than going into portrait, then going into landscape and uh, those two bars will be uh, hidden. Now to access settings, just go ahead and tap on this settings icon which you see at the top left side. Then you can go ahead and disconnect or connect your controllers. Now previously Emu3DS only supported uh, like external controllers but now that the developer has added touch controls we can disconnect them and connect external controller but uh, let me just go ahead and enable on screen touch controls let's tap on the A button and uh, let me tell you guys the current status of Emu3DS. Many games are indeed playable uh, as this emulator is in its experimental stage I recommend you guys going through all these settings to figure out 
uh, which setting works the best for you. But right here, as you can see, the game has frozen. So we'll just go ahead and close the emulator. That's the only way to restart this entirely. Let's try Pokemon Sun again. After restarting, the game appears to be working normally. Now, Emu 3DS is also based upon Citra emulator. As you know, Citra is biggest well-known 3DS emulator for Android and PC. So a lot of the settings you saw directly come from Citra emulator and hopefully the developer optimizes Emu 3DS pretty soon in future because uh, as you can see right here, there are some texture issues which can be fixed by enabling or disabling few settings. As I mentioned before, if you enable accurate shader multiplication, uh, you shouldn't really face any major graphical issues. My speaker is maxed out but still I am unable to hear anything. The game looks really good and appears to be running in full speed but there is no FPS counter anywhere so we can't really say if we are getting 30 FPS or 20 FPS. But by the looks and feel of it, I do think the game is running at 100% speed. 30 fps so that won't be an issue it's console quality gameplay if you want me to talk about compatibility list in my future emu 3ds videos then let me know in the comment section down below and while you are at it be sure to hit that like button and subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel and you leaving a like on this video will motivate me to upload more videos on ios emulators anyways there we go pokemon sun I'm pretty interested to see how well does the game handle in open world scenarios. I'm already missing few features from Citra Android. Uh, the ability to just modify a configuration file and boost the game's FPS, that's pretty difficult. But I think it's possible even for Emu 3DS. Alright, I can say that the game is indeed lagging. It's quite slow. So speed percentage must be about 50%. I don't really know. Alright, our game is finally about to begin and I can definitely tell you guys that the emulation is not full speed at this point. The cutscenes were being loaded properly but uh, hey at least there is no major graphical issue. I think we are getting anywhere from 20 to 25 FPS and if we do decrease the resolution then we can indeed get more FPS. Now let me show you guys one cool trick. So if we just go ahead and open settings and make sure to turn our landscape to last screen then go to emulation and we have got a bigger screen now just for getting a more immersive experience. Well here's the moment of truth let's try exiting the house and see how well does the game perform or the emulation perform. Okay I don't really see any major lags or dips in frame rate. Okay it's running pretty well just as well as it was holding up inside house so there isn't any major issue. Uh, while emulating, if you have gotten like iPhone 13 or above, then you should be fine with 3D simulation on iOS devices. If not, then you can decrease the resolution scale. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. See you guys next time and peace out.